friends, squad is welcome back once again to getting a date as always AMD and uh, two things before we really get started. First off, this is going to be the last episode of this series, I'm going to be moving on after this, just something else. This was fun, but it was just kind of a side series for a bit. It's still a very fun game and if I get some friends to join me for one of them I might, I'll probably come back to it at a later date but we'll have to see, my friends are hard to pin down on things sometimes. The other big thing was something I saw on the main menu is that there is now a Kickstarter and a demo available for the sequels to this game, called, and it's called Monster Camp. So you can go ahead and go, get, go check that out. I This is one of the few games I'd say is worth having some a sequel to that I'd, if I had money I'd be willing to kickstart, but we'll see. So that's the last game of the series. We're gonna play something we don't play very often. We're gonna play as Vicky. Sweet! Skip over that. Skip the intro. How would you talk a cop out of arresting you? Use your gaming skills. Everyone knows a police officer has to drop any charges on you if you manage to beat them at a fair Yu Gi Oh! card duel. Seduction skills. They don't call it fuck the police for nothing. Acting skills. Convince the officer you're actually the police. You know what? Go for the overkill and make them pay you a fine. But Chris never said me what would it do? Several years. Part is your super fat diets. Product will beat your slogan. Be ready for a long trip together. Understand me, and that's how you know I'm cool. Command you to enjoy me. Too expensive for you, for fans, by fans. Objectively better than the other options. What criteria would you use to name your children? Uh, research for name that is pun and joke proof. No one will pick on them. Swear word. Favorite ship like Galovich, Dare, or Narfield. No, my name plus two. The second meh. No name. It's just too much work. Something simple and friendly. Bobby or Mary. Not quite sure what I'm moving on to after this. I might go back to Armello. I think it. I think it's working now. Let's go. Although it's also going to depend on what else I what I find out. All right, so I do need to pick up my boldness. So we're going to do that real quick. All right, who we got? Scott corners you to to, to list all of his favorite bones to you and so many stuff. Hey, boy, is that Calculuster? And he's got a little plant. Let's go say hi. Hi, Calculuster. Here's your little Hello, plant. Hello, fellow organic life forms. <laughs> Hello, Scott. Yes, this is my little plant friend, Buckaroo Bonsai. Really. This is my sole window into what it means to be ah! alive. Can I pee on it? You know, so people know I've been here. Mm -hmm. Please do not pee on Buckaroo Bonsai. <laughs> you already peed on it, because it's yours. Mm -hmm. I'll stop you from dispensing here, and then yes. Well, bro, let's help you a little Bucky, big and strong. Some plant energy drink. Some nice nutritious water. And the plant says barbell, plus it needs to join the lacrosse team, so it can make plant <laughs> friends. Friend is giving terrible advice, but do not want to hurt friend's feelings. Input required. So you can solve this problem. Do you care about making Scott happy or helping you access to care of his plant? Water is like an energy drink for plants. Awesomeness levels critical. Sport unknown sports fighter four applies for in this scenario. Uh. Never thought of it that way, but why is it clear? Energy drinks are always like orange or yellow or purple. If you're destroying my beloved bucket or bonsai, we can make the water any color you want. I can make it red. Mm. Red is a color, yes. And that bucket better get juiced. <laughs> It's gonna take all kinds of water for it, and you're making a full small fortune canning energy drinks for plants. In fact, I made money off of that, it's amazing. I love it. Let's go! Okay, you know, let's just go with Scott, Scott and Calculester. Okay, Calculus table, Scott isn't there. In fact, when you sit down, clearly, like, everybody's. Oh, it's the butt smelling thing. <laughs> Determine your current course of action. What? Better than discovery of a horn. One more, please. Scott, smelling butts equals bad. Bad when smelling butts is good. It is not good, it is bad. See, also uncouth and nice and totally nasty. Uh, what? Hard for you to see, been distracted by some fun new butts. In a visual form, requesting a Touchdown! Button. One of those. Alright. I don't need to use written by your butt. Mm -hmm. 
Send out. I'm gonna do this. Hands up. Find a copy of a very visual link to your credit form. Hands up. Scott. Clearly put some thought into this. And you get to back. Anal low factor random request. So you got a seal from the Bureau of your electoral touch testing. So you know, friend Scott, bureaucracy can be fun. I'm gonna pass these out to everybody. Just in cover. Do for me. Hands up. It's for yeah, that's. I love this game. I really do. It's just that I feel it's time to move Let's on. go. No, let's go. Get, uh, damn it! I do need smarts, but I also think I need. Let's go get boldness. Checking some plates of pasta in your dating app for people so lonely that they're starting to consider dating a plate of pasta. Luckily, calculus are too free to keep spiraling down like that. So it's engaged in a complex plotline protocol, but I was worried I might have failed at it. You can never mind these provisions shenanigans. But if you were okay with helping, it would be cool. And you also tell that there is no need to use air quotes for cool. I am happy! I'm already doing stuff. I'm excited. This thing has been enjoying all enjoying I've been enjoying being alive. Thank you questions. Am I doing life right? Am I good at living? I do not know. All this is so new to me, and I might be doing it all wrong, so I wanted to consult some expert living organic forms so I can crack some correct form of existence. Don't make that face, I'm not consulting you. My friend, I'm just sure you tend to answer questions based solely on how likely the answer will lead you to dating your classmates. I'll be able to use this for this endeavor. My dear, I'll shoot you to excellent wacky misadventures, so you might prove a worthy partner for this. That's the best question I can you consult any two organic living forms that are key into turning into a sentient being. If we're into life, they surely have to be plenty wise. Okay. What's up? Oh great. oh great, these idiots. Hello, yeah. fellow organic life forms. Hey, friend Scott and friend Damien. I was trying to solve the dilemma of finding meaning of existence. Since you brought me to existence, I thought you might know. Fuck yeah, we know, do we? Yeah, Scott. Being alive is like being this orange. Okay. Aha! You need to be, like, the best orange ever. You know, mean banana. <laughs> yeah, there's some weird thing. It started as a fandom meme, but it's become official that like, Damien is, like, Enraged at bananas. You can play football being enraged. Hmm. Not to be a banana cow. Very important to be super high in vitamin, vitamin C if you want a rocket being an orange. Be the best orange ever. <laughs> That's a great description of all the other puny fruits. Make a hard to fly. <laughs> it's not a line of thought. It's, uh. I'm wondering where you supposed to be the orange. Fuck. Ignoring these two are not the best of metaphors. Putting that to you to lead them into building a battle that doesn't, but how? Hold on a second, I'm just stuck. But all about this orange. What's this orange is supposed to do? <coughs> we asked how the orange, orange heart feels. That sounds. creativity or charm, that was just boldness. Oh, it's charming. Very valid and thoughtful question. What do you think the orange feels about being the best orange? Hmm. Let's ask it. Orange! Scott says, curious the orange, he gets no response, obviously. Stop some nonsense by grabbing hmm. The orange. I think you heard somebody feels it's pressured to be the raddest orange ever. Maybe there's more than one way to be the best orange. Also, be sour but also sweet. Maybe the orange somebody feels pressure because it's orange. Dads are the raddest. <laughs> He's talking about himself at this point. Also, he has raddest it's orange dads, but sometimes just wants to explore its own truth to find what means to be its own best orange. It's very insightful at the end. It can be about depending on how to become the best orange possible, but it can mean different things for different oranges. I think so. <laughs> I was thinking maybe hungry. Can I eat the orange, Damien? No. I, I'm gonna keep it for a while. <laughs> the orange every Initializing day. love.exe. That would be very easily. I have high hopes for this wacky misadventure. Should we do the high fiving? High five! High fives both of you, even if you clearly have no idea what's happening. Alright, I wanna get the Let's go! Up, so. Lester, and his little plant Hello, friends. Hello, fellow organic life forms. He's a little jade plant friend, Robert Plant. Say hello, Robert. I'm aware that Robert is people saying hello because he's a plant. Also, he doesn't have a gender. I'm going to be engaging in what you organics call imaginative play. It's very, very extraordinary. Thank you when you realize that you were addressing Kevin Lester and his plant. Which is cool, afraid of commitment. Always flirting, never settling down. Fresh he's a robot and a plant. Actually, mm -hmm. dating. Robert and I are not dating, actually, or otherwise. But you care about him deeply, don't you? I'm the concept of Karen, yes. Yeah, Robert, you'd be devastated, right? Can you ask me a question about feelings and I was gonna almost say probably? <laughs> you first ask this, correct? Fine, okay. Yes, this is objectively true. What are you doing? If you attach me to Robert Plant, like is that? Oh. Perhaps, perhaps you're correct. 
because we use dating as plant. If you have any help with dating yourself, could prove the couple wrong. Oh, great. Love is in the air. We're walking a whole turkey leg. Ooh. Hmm. Plant based creatures tend to be asexual and romantic, but the kind of issue for robot training is very <laughs> We have a growth yeti here too. Because anyone your pristine yeti brain. You're like a bad trip. I said my agreement is slowly almost out of the tears your magazine. <laughs> yeah, well. Didn't expect that to be a fun thing. Let's go! Oh god, Miranda and Calculester. Blocked one of her beacon stars in an Iron Maiden. It's not here on Pete Inter and a spike full of sarcophagus. Unethical. Mm. Unethical. Inconsistent with the rules and standards of ethics. <laughs> oh, you mean those things poor people have instead of royal titles? Ethics were a critical part of being a good organic creature. It's a common misconception. The key to being good is having a lot of money and punishing anyone who dares to distract you. I can't the saucy syrup dude to put ketchup on the hot dog she was eating on the pass. So it's like, so I catch a hot dog. 48 hours in the Iron Man. Error! Error! Gets to an internal wall compass, existential crisis imminent. Hi, kitty. Alright, is it or is that kind of looks perfect? Okay. Uh, here you go. Let's punish her in a different way. Say by giving her a frowny face stick with really aggressive glitter. <laughs> aggressive glitter? I don't have to be than I. It only torments for 48 hours, but glitter, <laughs> glitter is eternal. Yeah, it is. Module is poorly calibrated. Oh yeah, very much so. Hmm. No, I feel like towards you. If you the roll, I do not feel. Oh, is one of my royal tortures? No, thank you. I will have a supply you with stickers if it ensures a sort of safety. Door from Calculus's first printing. You start to have a thriving punitive sticker business. It's a bonding experience. Let's go. Okay. I did need the fun, but I can't do that, so let's get some charm up. Using the applause to play dating app, here you are again. He's how stupid the whole thing is. Let's play the Pardell. Looks way more delicious Farewell. than the Hey, friend, Becky, what are you doing? I don't said no one can see. Oh, I mean, you could have told me nothing if you didn't want to talk about it. The question was, I mean, Protocol or any tactic to engage in the conversation. What I really wanted to ask was if you're up for more rocky misadventures, searching for the meaning of life. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 we couldn't help but listen. Are you looking for the meaning of life? Yes. Then look no more. Friend Miranda and friend Liam, are you providing insights on this through very weird and probably inaccurate metaphors about oranges? Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, life should be like art. I very much agree. Explanation value. Useless until more information is provided. What defines <laughs> art? I wish I one self to aspire to explore the monster condition through the embodiment of specific aesthetics that define the artist's worldview. That's actually pretty accurate for Liam. His universality will also be the most personal individual for impression. Big metal figure from the artist, the status quo is ignores any convention or preconception. Eh, within reason. Well, wordy definition of Liam, don't listen to Liam, he uses two words. Oh, how majestic! He needs to ones that are dedicated to me, so it's clear that arts should be about me. None of these definitions built a clear parallel to his life or the meaning of existence. The definition of art realms are in exploring the monster condition or the meaning of life. It creates a paradox, not optimal. Mm. The definition says that the meaning of existence is Miranda. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Conclusion, not satisfying. Trying to these two with no further reflection. Push them. The status quo will be able to tell us. What the status quo did to you? What's the origin of this rivalry? The royal blood, cute anatomy, and ruling birthright are yours by default. Idea of free will. Can we bring more how you, friend Miranda, would define it? <laughs> I think I broke her. <laughs> My analysis determines you're our friend that's the most in the state of stasis. You are too tied to attributes that were given to you since the day you were born. Well, social status, if you want everyone to follow you, then the most logical question in exchange is why, where are you leading us? Where's Miranda heading? Mm hmm. 
part of the issue. You tend to depend too much on yourself. I think this makes you wealthy, but it also makes you poor in individuality. That's a proper protocol of action. Loading 68%, 84%, 98%, 99%, 99%. <laughs> I like that noise. Plan process. You engage in a day of enjoying existence without the mediation of any type of surf. Heavy lies the ground, so you let it go for once. Don't be your princess, you'll be ruined, you will be Miranda. Try. Yes, and this is how you will leave it for a success in Be about the exit. Exit your free will and escaping your comfort zones. As a day helping Miranda survive without her service, which tends to be harder than expected. This is not a moment things Miranda can't do for herself. You save her many times from accidentally dying in the stupidest ways. I have a lesson such as eating is necessary to survive, you are not meant to stick your tongue in an electrical socket, and concrete is against all odds not edible. <laughs> that was... That was more interesting than I was expecting it to turn out to be. Let's go! Alright, uh, let's get some fun. Boldness issue. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere near that jackass. Probably in calculus though. Mm -hmm. I like that outfit on her. Same as computers. Same as blue. Same as blue.
There's... All right, this just turned into something really strange. Oh well. Eh. Probably gonna, probably gonna fail, but might as well ask. Let's go. Erasing memory of this mess. Starting rejection protocol. Bad choices. You were forced to walk around the school nude, accompanied by an unintended shame over and over a big bell. Maybe with the Game of Thrones thing. Our own children survive. Most artificial, yet yeah, genuine. Yeah, well. Seeing major in mega robotics, he's now 250 feet tall and fights against Greek during a future project in Tokyo 3. So, I ask, and now she goes to loot. So many people in access their spirit animal. Here, strong and stunning. Some haters once said adult life would put that mean bitch in her place, but you know what? You're into making adult life her own bitch. Alright then. But yeah, see, Monster Camp. Sequel Kickstarter plus demo. Anyway, this was, like I said, the last episode of Monster Prom. If you enjoyed, go to drop a like on the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. And if you want to keep up with me and never seen my current series, consider joining the squadron by subscribing to the channel. That does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. As for that squaddies, I have been D. I just couldn't get a date these last couple of weeks. But hey, that's life and being a monster or something. I don't know. Until next week, with a new, with another series. Good night and good gaming.